Ha 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 ha. <coughs> Happy Tuesday night. Happy Tuesday night. Get some reverb going there on the stream. Maketh sure my microphone works. Everybody's doing good tonight. February 1st already. <sighs> Jesus, where is this year gone?
sent my retweet out. Because I've got to, to the retweet. And we are going to get underway here. Week number five of season 17 will be weeks number eight and ten in game. Because uh, week number nine is going to be a uh, bye week. Oh, oh, forgot one more. One more share I forgot there. I forgot my fucking Facebook share, goddammit. Can't forget the face space shares. Got the face space shares all done. And we it's gonna be ready to kick off here in just a minute. Let me make sure my other friend is not online yet that I'm doing the moderating for. I guess he is not streaming tonight. But we are streaming tonight. Making sure that I don't have anybody to upgrade going into these games so far. Take a look at what we got as far as injuries go. We're going to be playing against Cleveland, who beat us in overtime back in week six. So we got a bone to pick. So far, the only game we've lost this year. And then we got the open date, and then at Can or Kansas City, at home here. Al Bundy is on injured list. Thankfully, D. Reed came back and had a couple of big games last week. Frasley starting out in bad condition. Aliandris is. Good. D's going to be in bad condition to start out. We're going to bring Gump in just for the first series or so. And then on defense, Bricko. Oh, that's going to be a uh, no go on that. Substitution. Lawrence Taylor, Lex Rance, the Spectre, Bret Hart, bad condition. Bring in Calicott. Be gifted, gonna stay in. Ricky Thrills, gonna stay in. Govan, gonna go out. For balance. And hopefully we will get Jerry Rocha back in the mix here soon. He's been pretty much injured all season long. <clears throat> and we're going to auto skip. Tell it to go to week 11. And we are underway here. Going to let these simulation games run out. Until we get to Cleveland. All right. <laughs> I wouldn't say it was failing. Sorry I was in and out there the last 20, 30 minutes or so. Usually it gets, gets after 7, 7.15. I'm already uh, doing all my social media posts and getting ready to come in and do my thing. 
Always go north. North unto the sea. Who are we getting back? Nobody. Ernest Biner coming back. For the Browns. Tommy Vardell coming back for the Browns. They had their backfield injured. Jerry Rocha coming back for the Jaguars. Big, big, big news on defense. Got to get my middle linebacker back in the mix. Al Bundy's still going to be out injured, however. I can't complain. Even if I did, who the fuck gives a shit, right? Everybody's got their own cross to bear these days. Mine ain't no more special than anybody else's. Considering that I made most of mine. We are going to go ahead and enable these channel point predictions. Am I going to win? Am I going to lose? Cleveland beat us in overtime. So far, the only team to beat us this season... You can bet as little as 10 points or bet as much as you want. I don't care if you bet against me. No hard feelings because uh, I do tend to suck at this game sometimes. Can't win them all, as the saying goes. It's going to be a rain game, too. <laughs> it's going to be extra fun. Forrest Gump with the opening kickoff. Oh, they gave me stale ginger ale tonight. Forrest Gump with the opening kickoff. Going to start things off here on the 30-yard line. Gump in to start this series for D. Reed until he gets to be in better condition because we do not want D. Reed going out injured again. And I'd like to welcome in at this time, you heard him a little bit last week, the one and only Howard No Sell back on commentary this week. He said he would try to make it back in, and he's making his way into the booth right now. Mr. No Sell, have a seat. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome back to Tecmo Tuesday. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Capone. It is a pleasure being here tonight to share this experience with you and your audience once again. Thank you, Howard. Right now, the Jaguars setting up on the six-yard line. Hand off to Doug Sloan. Sloan brought down with a two-yard loss. Doug Sloan just not showing the explosive speed that you've got with D. Reed and Forrest Gump. Speaking of Gump, Gump gets the handoff up, changes direction, and into the end zone. Touchdown, Jaguars. That was a very smart decision by Mr. Gump to change direction and present, prevent, I'm sorry, another loss of yardage. And in doing so, the Cleveland defense did not make it back into position and were unable to stop Mr. Gump from crossing the goal line. The result, a Jaguar touchdown. Bruce Beard to kick off. Jones back to receive for the Cleveland Browns. 
I always love these weather games, be it rain or snow, because you've got that added little uh, mechanic in the game. Balls are harder to catch, and they come out a lot easier. Of course, Mr. Capone, I understand your concern with the water. The ball, the leather ball, gets slick and slippery, and it's like holding a wet fish. Five-yard gain on the play. Leroy Horde. And, of course, Lorenzo White in the backfield for Cleveland. Vinny Testaverde under center. And White going to get brought down. Loss of a yard on that play. Third down and six. You've got to beware of Cleveland on the ground, but you've also got to watch the arm of the veteran Vinny Testaverde. Again, the handoff to White, resulting in a three-yard loss. It looks like the Browns are going to punt, Howard. Jaguars defense holding up, but we're going to have to watch for the fake. Yes, the computer likes to throw the fake, and there it goes. Overthrowing Lorenzo White, and a loss of downs for the Browns. Do you like my little rhyme there, Mr. Capone? Yeah, Howard, I, I, uh, that was pretty clever. Loss of Brown, loss of downs by the Browns. Sounds like something Calicott would say. Very Berman-esque. Capone back to pass downfield to Aliandris, missing the connection. Another thing you got to watch out for in these weather games. That ball in the air being weighed down by the pounding rain is going to throw it off of its trajectory just a little bit. Capone back to pass goes to Aliandris again. This time she makes the touchdown. Touchdown Aliandris. 33 yards. Scoreboard, baby! <laughs> Gonna give Aliandris the shout out if you don't know who Ali is. Host of the Dungeon Fables podcast. Co host of Live Laugh Lore with Jin. Actually and a streamer here on Twitch. I'm at that point now. I haven't got up to the final boss yet. And I won't give spoilers. This may have been from this past Sunday night. When she started playing Dream Daddy on stream. I don't know what it is with these goddamn millennials and their Dream Daddy dating simulators. Howard Nocell, I'm sure you can understand. We live in a strange world, my friend. Yes, Mr. Capone, I do not understand dating simulators. The only kind of simulator that I've ever dated has been my left hand when my wife Eunice is out of town. Uh, that's a little bit too much information there, Mr. No Cell. I'm sure my audience did not need to hear that. I do apologize for my candid nature. It's okay. Bruce Beard to kick off. Jones back again to receive. Going to take it from about the six-yard line. Jones fumbles. The water, the wet ball fumbled. And the Jaguars with the recovery. The Jaguars now set up in a good position here on the field. I don't want to look at stats. I don't want to look at stats. I want to see what my players are looking like. D. Reed in bad condition. Yeah, Mr. No Cell. It's miss it's 2022. You can't say that shit on the air anymore. D. Reed. 
Doing a little juke there to get past the defender. And only able... To get a couple of yards there. Sloan, fumble. God damn it. Another fumble. Forced, no doubt, by the wet ball. And we've had two turnovers here in a very short period of time. Lorenzo White with the handoff. White. Gets enough blocks to break a big run here against the Jaguar defense. Down at about the 21-yard line. 49-yard run for Cleveland on that play. And an unfortunate series of events for the Jaguars. Who got that ball on the fumble on the kickoff. In great field position to score. Pass is blocked. Jerry Rocha making his presence felt jumping up and batting that one down after being on the bench injured for a few weeks. Mr. Rocha, no doubt, been aching to play since he went out with the injury earlier this season. Reminding people that he is still here. Then he tests the Verde back to pass. Hits Lorenzo White and White. Should have had him down a couple of yards past where he was. Unable to make that tackle. Defense still kind of slow. And Leroy Hoard over the pack for the first down. Cleveland knocking on the Jacksonville door. Ball now on the 10-yard line for the Browns. So this is probably going to be a direct snap. No. Very lucky that pass fell short of the target. Mr. Capone, the defense should probably try to be a little more aggressive considering the field is sloppy, wet. And I missed my tackle. Browns on the scoreboard. Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. We got a tie. Nope. Why would I think it's a tie ball game? We're up 14 to 7. I didn't realize we'd already scored twice. Oops. Forrest Gump with the kickoff return. And Gump weaving in and out of this defense. Gump looking to get another kickoff return for a touchdown. And he gets stopped after a 73-yard return. Forrest Gump unable to go all the way. Very unfortunate. He wanted that bad. And Cleveland not messing around here. Coming in hard and fast. Seven-yard loss for D. Direct snap. Reed. Another three-yard loss for the Jaguars. We are in a bit of trouble here. Really unable to do much. Third down and 11 now. Floats the pass incomplete. And we're not taking any chances. We are going to go for the field goal just to get points on the board. Kick is up, and it is blocked. Shit just is not going right for either team tonight. Right. 
ton of turnovers. Mr. Capone. This is the problems that you have with the weather game. Andre Risen making the catch in traffic. 23-yard gain. Hand off to Lorenzo White. White. Having no problem moving the ball tonight. Another first down for Cleveland. Leroy Horde gonna get hit. Five yard loss. Second down and 14 now for the Browns. Jaguars defense kind of back on the heels here for most of this second quarter. Two very good scoring opportunities squandered. Five-yard gain. Oh, yeah, my mom tried to use that book because she thought I was possessed by demons when I was a teenager. And I decided to keep it. Setting up another punt. Not going to try the fake this time, however. And Forrest Gump taking it out of the end zone. Gump. Oh, no! Another fucking fumble. It looks like the Jaguars, thankfully, <coughs> the Jaguars <coughs> recovered the fumble. Holy shit on a shingle. Bal, thank you for the 15-month sub, my friend. How are you doing tonight, Balance? And D. Reed getting chased again, only managing to squeak out three yards on that carry. The Jaguars offense, the Jaguars defense. Hey, let me tell you something, Mr. Howard No Cell. I don't know who the hell you think you are coming in here after being gone for three months. But I am the co-host on this stream, baby. The American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, Aliandris with a big touchdown catch, baby. Another touchdown for Aliandris, the second of the night, baby, if you will. Mr. Dream, I don't want any trouble from you I'm telling you this right now if you come in here and you provoke me then we are gonna have some harsh way Mr. Howard No Fell we're gonna have what you are gazing at the former two time world heavyweight champion baby I fly like a butterfly I float like a bee I'm the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, the son of a plumber, if you will. And how with no sale, you can just get the bricks down the road, baby. Because I am back where I belong, right here in this booth, Mr. Capone. Back me up here, baby. Uh, Dusty, I'm telling you. Mr. No Cell came in last week and did a fantastic job. Call in the second half of that game against the Steelers. And I invited him back. He is my guest. So you have no right. You talking about no rights. You talking about no rights. I got all the rights in the world, baby. I'm the second most recognizable athlete in the whole world. And Vinny Testaverde just took off running, baby. And he is fumbling and stumbling down the field, baby. And the Jaguars have recovered the football. We have got another turnover right before the second half. Ball is on the 34-yard line. 
I think you should probably kick the field goal just to put points on the board. That's going to be squibbed. And yeah. We can't get anything to happen <laughs> points wise here without an act of Congress. Personally, I blame Mr. Howard No Cell. Jinx in this team, baby. Why would you say he's jinxing the team? <coughs> Look at this man. <coughs> Look at this man sitting here in his Ascot sweater, baby. Who in the hell wears an Ascot in 2022? Mr. Dream? My Ascot probably cost more than that trailer that you call a house. I only shop at the finest haberdashery. What the haberdashery? Man, it is an ugly, ugly game. Lots of turnovers. Three fumbles for the Jaguars. A couple of fumbles. Or no, that's three fumbles for the Browns. And one for the Jaguars on offense. Plus the special teams fumbles. Jacksonville really unable to do anything on the ground so far. Only six yards rushing the Browns. <coughs> coming in with 69 yards. Get your mind out of the gutter. I like the 69, baby, if you will. 32 yards passing for the Browns for 101 total. And the Jaguars, 156 yards passing for 162 total offensive yards. Ugh. Got your cough tonight, Calicut. <laughs> Going to be a barn burner here in the second half. No doubt, Jaguars lead 21 to 7. And Beard to kick off. Oh, nice. All right, we're going to start out here. Oh, you're still here, Dusty Rhodes. Yeah, baby, I'm still here. Howard, no sell. You just keep the old self, baby. We're going to call this game together. Mr. Rhodes, I told you, don't come in here making threats. Because I will thrash you, sir. Whatever. Lorenzo White caught in the backfield for a one-yard loss. Jaguar defense filling that hole, stopping Mr. White from progressing the ball forward, if you will. We need to see some more of that with some more turnovers, baby. Vinny Testaverde back to pass, had a slip. That slippery slope on the grass in the water, that's what we've been talking about all night long. The weather effects changing the way this game is played third down and 11 for the jaguars jaguars need to make the stop on defense vinny gonna step up vinny gonna run it for a three yard gain but gonna force the punt watch for the fake they have already faked it once tonight, Mr. Dream. If you weren't paying it, I saw what they did earlier, baby. They tried to fake it, and they made it. They did not make it. They missed. If 
Forrest Gump back to receive. Forrest Gump. Just going to put that ball on the ground. To avoid any kind of fumbling shenanigans. D. Reed with the handoff. Reed finally getting a nice little chunk of yards there. Nine yard gain on the play. We need to check in and see what condi condition our condition is in. Reed's still in bad shape. Second down and one now for Jacksonville. Doug Sloan going up top. Sloan out of bounds after he picked up a nice big chunk of yards there. 13 yards and the first down. Doug Sloan not as explosive off the line of scrimmage as the other Jaguars running back. But he made that play when he needed to. Ball going deep to the snack. The snack into the end zone for the touchdown. And the Jaguars score again. Scoreboard, baby! <laughs> How you doing, Columbo? Give a shout out to the snack. Another streamer here on Twitch got some new clips going on here. Perfect timing. That was perfect timing on that. The snack, a variety streamer here on Twitch, streams a few times a week, sometimes during the afternoon, sometimes during the evening. Please give him a follow if you don't already and turn those notifications on to find out when he goes on. Also a member of the Tecmo Super Bowl community here on Twitch. Him and his wife, Sweet Honey, 032. Husband and wife stream team. That's that Horizon Zero Dawn, isn't it, Colombo? I've heard a lot of good things about that. <laughs> I didn't notice the bow in the hair, so it couldn't possibly be Miss Pac-Man. Maybe it was Donkey Kong. Vinny Testaverde going downfield, hits Alexander. <sighs> Wide open. Leroy Horde picking up eight yards on that carry. And I guess Dusty and Howard are making out in the broom closet. Been awfully quiet here. Vinny Testaverde stepping up and going down at the hands of Lawrence Taylor. Of course, Lawrence Taylor needs no shout out. Third down and four for Cleveland. Handoff to Horde. Horde breaks through the line for a two-yard gain. Going to be a yard shy. 
Watch for a fake run here on this punt attempt. And they go for the pass. And Alexander comes away with that one. 19 yard gain on the fake punt. Lorenzo White, four-yard gain on the play. Second down and five for the Cleveland Browns. It's going to be a direct snap. No. Leroy Horde underneath. Gets down to about the four-yard line. 17-yard gain on that play. First down and three. Jaguar defense backed up against their own end zone here. And the Cleveland Browns taking advantage of that fake punt. And actually scoring on the drive on a three-yard touchdown run. Sorry, I left. I had to show Mr. Rhodes to the dumpster. I mean, to the door. It's quite all right, Howard. Your presence was missed. And the Browns have pulled within two scores. <clears throat> Here in the third quarter, 28-14. to 14. In a turnover-filled game. A game of a lot of missed opportunities. 41-yard gain on that punt return. Or that kick return, should I say. And off to D. Reed. D. Reed only gets a yard on that one. And we got an injured Brown on the field. Schnack making the big catch again. Thirty three yard touchdown. Who and the Jaguars doing what they can to stay out in front. The Schnack head of the pack. Speaking of head of the pack, head of the class lost its very first teacher the other day. The incomparable Howard Hessman passing away at the age of 81. Mr. Johnny Fever on WKRP in Cincinnati. Of course, you can't forget all the movies he was in. His scene in Spinal Tap, unforgettable. Direct snap to White. White going to get out in front here to about the 50-yard line. 26-yard gain for Lorenzo White. 94 yards on the day so far for White. I don't think the Jaguars have rushed for more than uh, 20 yards total so far tonight. And Vinny going down at the hands of Demeternoth. Demeter Noth and Bricko. The Terror Twins of the Third Faction podcast. Demeter Noth 
also here on Twitch. Uh, have your babies? Plays a option? lot of Final Fantasy. Plays a lot of Sims. She should be streaming tomorrow morning. I'm gonna have a rest. Usually around 6:30 um, a.m. Eastern <laughs> time, as she is in the UK. Demi always with the <clears throat> the great responses to those storylines in Final Fantasy. <laughs> Vinny trying to hit Leroy Horde over the middle, not making it this time. Third down and 18 for the Browns. Direct snap to Leroy Horde. Another three-yard loss. Fourth down and 21. And Vinny... Going down again. Loss of downs for the Browns. I stop you with the sack. Mystic opponent, the Jaguars. Very fortunate to be getting a few of these big plays tonight because their offense has really struggled. In the rain, as Calicott has observed, slippery night tonight. Never easy in a rain game. Z Reed picking up another first down. Five yard carry on that one. Hand off again to D Reed. D Reed. And he fumbles out of bounds. Oh, that ball has come out more times tonight. Jaguars on the one-yard line. The Jaguars on the one-yard line. I think the safest thing to do is going to be what we're doing. Jump right over the pile into the end zone. Touchdown. D. Reed. Scoreboard, baby! <laughs> of course, D. Reed, the one and only BVNP here on Twitch. What's up, Capones? DJ, Mr. Deesky, your girl's favorite DJ. He knows I'm shouting him out. And he's shouting me out again. If you don't follow D, he usually streams three, four times a week. He usually is on Tuesday night, but he must have had something pop up to keep him off tonight. But he's usually on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern. Tuesday and Friday, the music nights. Slick and slow jams on Tuesday with his lovely wife, Sassy C. Wednesday night, what it do, Wednesday trivia. And then Friday night, the flagship show, I Love Music Mix. And then he's peppering in Madden and uh, COD when he has the time. Forty-two to fourteen. I would say that this game probably not going into overtime. I would hope that this game is not going to go into overtime. Mystic Capone, 
Because if you let them come back from that deficit with three minutes left, you need to put down the controller and retire. And we've got a little bit of premature attapulation going on there. Unintended onside kick. I'm gonna blame you distracting me, Mr. No Cell. I did no such thing. I was just telling you that if you come back and you lose the game from this deficit, you suck. Jerry Rocha coming back with the sack, baby. It's been a long time since Rocha had a sack. And hopefully he will be back here on the Twitch machine soon. <clears throat> it's been so long since I've been able to type his name. I started to put retro arc. Jerry Rocha, of course, comedian extraordinaire. Did somebody clip that? For most of the pandemic. Had a stream here on Twitch up until last April when he went in to start taking treatment for stage four colorectal cancer. Hence the Fight Jerry Fight logo off to the side of the screen there. And I'm keeping that up until he comes back on Twitch, signaling all clear. Everything's been going good for him the last few months. He's just doing maintenance, last-minute maintenance. But the last time I talked to him about it, about a month ago, he said that they think they got it all, so... And of course, Jerry Rocha, you can find him on YouTube. You can find his podcast, The Ramble, with fellow uh, Jaguar custom player, tight end Eddie Pence. And Lorenzo White breaks a big one. Lorenzo White getting over 100 yards on us here tonight. And off to White again. Who? 202 left to play. We got one more game coming up here against Kansas City. Vinny Testaverry calling an audible. That Kansas City game is sure to be a tough one. I don't think it's going to be as tough as you think it is. And the Cleveland Browns, fourth down and 14. They're going for it. They got no choice. Going deep to Alexander and not going to make it. D. Reed with the handoff. Seven yard gain on that play. Second down and two for the Jaguars. All you got to do is just run the ball out. Reed cuts upfield, gets a nice little chunk of yardage there. Reed only 43 yards on the night. The Jaguars having a hell of a time running the ball tonight. Pass, 
Doug Sloan coming in this time. Going to get stopped behind the line for a four-yard loss. Second down and 13 for the Jaguars. Capone rolling out. Capone going to run this. Nine-yard gain on the play. Third down and four. This is for beating us in overtime. No, not going to be able to get the last second touchdown. But we pick up the victory, 42-14. to Cleveland, tail of two offenses here. 144 yards rushing against us. 97 yards passing for 241 overall. Cleveland with two fumble recoveries and about a minute or two time of possession lead. Jaguars only 72 yards on the ground, 236 through the air for 308 total. Jaguars had six sacks and three fumble recoveries. Lots of turnovers tonight. Lots of turnovers. I stop you with two sacks. Jerry Rocha, Lawrence, Taylor, each with a sack. Deschnack and Aliandris both with two big touchdown catches. Both over 100 yards receiving. Hold on just a second. Three of you voted that I was going to win. One of you voted for a loss. Congratulations to the winners. It's like Calicot, cheeky baby. And I don't see who the third one is. Congratulations on your points. Nice. Got some nice upgrades for the defense. Stop you getting some much needed play in time. Jerry Rocha. Give him a little more agility and be gifted. Let's give V gifted a little bit more chance to intercept. And then on the offense, Ali Andres and Deschnack both getting nice little bumps. While we are doing that, I am going to head to Twitter. And I'm going to take a pause for the cause.
right. Oh, wow. Okay, game number two. I'm gonna get these points set up for the prediction stream. Looks like we're still gonna be without Al Bundy. Frasley back into good condition. Aliandris in bad condition now. tight end. Eddie Pence starting out in bad condition. Govan starting out in bad condition again. My defense, guys. Bret Hart in excellent shape. Vector is in good shape. We're going to put Lex Rance in there. Jerry Roca in bad. Columbo's in bad, but we're going to leave him in. Going to leave him in. Will I win? Will I lose? Here comes prediction. Pole part deuce. Kansas City has won the coin toss and has elected to receive. This is Howard No Sell. Game number two of this week's Tecmo Tuesday action. Bruce Beard about to kick off to the Kansas City Chiefs. And we are underway here in Jacksonville. Mr. Capone, how are you doing after the big win in Cleveland? Getting a little bit of revenge against the Browns for their overtime victory earlier. Revenge is a dish best served cold. And we got that revenge in the cold, hard rain. However, sunny game here in Jacksonville, Kansas City. Steve Bono under center. And I forget, we've got Thompson and Anderson in the backfield. I did not think Christian Okoye was still with the Chiefs by this time. So we're not going to have to worry about Okoye in this game. Third down and three for Kansas City. Kansas City, here I come. Cash over the middle. Cash with the first down catch. 23-yard <laughs> gain on that play. Oh, Cash again. Another catch. Eight yards. Second down and one. Now for Kansas City. Looks like run number three and run number four. Similar plays. Thompson. Out of the backfield. And Thompson with a big first down. 17-yard catch on that one. Little lateral pass out of the backfield. Second down and 11 now. One yard loss on that play for the Chiefs. Chiefs have had 
A little problem moving the ball so far. And Thompson going to get hit for a five-yard loss that time. Kansas City, one of the more explosive offenses historically in the league. Of course, the mid-90s, however, was not too kind to the Chiefs. Steve Bono throws to Thompson, picks up seven yards, but... Not going to be able to get that first down. Going for the field goal. Kick is up and it is no good. Jaguars very fortunate. Keeping KC off the scoreboard there on that first drive. Now it's up to the Jacksonville Jaguars to turn this offense on and get back into the balance that's been winning you guys games all year long. D. Reed with the big handoff there to start things out for the Jaguars. Going to have the first down. Definitely want to see more balance on the run. Don't like to be so one-dimensional in this game. D. Reed breaks a tackle. Out of bounds after about a 20-yard gain. Reed had like 40 yards the entire game last. Game against the Browns. Already at 30 tonight off of two carries. And again, D. Reed with the pitch. Reed with the little juke move. Another big run. 18-yard gain. I think he's already surpassed what he had in the last game. 48 yards so far on three carries. coming at me. They're coming at me this time. Doug Sloan just can't catch a break trying to get his stats built up. He just getting passed around like a rag doll. Loss of seven yards on that one. Second down and 17. Rolling out downfield to Frasley. Frasley into the end zone. Touchdown Jaguars. Of course, Frasley's showing up in the BlizzCon preview video for BlizzCon 2020. Please give her a follow. Frasley's real-world commitments has been keeping her off stream for an extended period of time the last month or so. But she will be back to it before you know it. Entertaining the masses. Her point is up, and it is good. Bruce Beard to kick off Vaughn back to receive. Mr. Capone, that was a very good first drive to kick things off. Playing in a nice weather game here for hosting the Chiefs. 
Hopefully you get your offensive back in the groove. And a six-shot loss on the play that time. Kansas City trying to run. Got swallowed by the Jaguar defense. Second down and 15 now for Kansas City. Bono rolls out, hits Bailey over the middle. Bailey, oh, <laughs> they're giving him, giving it to him underneath. Little tiny passes, and they keep breaking. Bono over the middle of the cash again. Should have left Rocha in the middle there instead of trying to go for the sack. Bono back to pass. Bono under pressure. Incomplete pass intended for Bailey that time. Third down and one for Kansas City. Bono back to pass. Bono going to step up and incomplete. He probably, if he would have just kept moving forward, Bono probably would have had the first down on his own. I don't understand the computer logic sometime, but it worked out in the Jaguar favor. You've got to watch out, however, for the fake. The fake punt. Cleveland successfully pulling it off. And Forrest Gump back to receive Aguiar's punt. Gump going to get brought down after a four-yard gain. Jaguars backed up against their own end zone here. Capone to Bavaro. Did not use the tight ends that much in the previous game. Bavaro with a nice little gain there, 22 yards. First down and 10, giving the Jaguars a little breathing room. They need a lot of breathing room. You don't want to get caught down in that end zone. Giving the defense a chance to get a turnover close and run it in for the score. Welcome back then, Calicott. You guys still getting a lot of bad weather up there to this week, or has it all kind of moved out? Frasley, another big catch down the sideline. Frasley, her second touchdown of the game. Frazzle Dazzle putting pie scores again, because she is fly. Extra point is up, and it is good. Frasley with two big touchdowns so far in this game, replicating what Aliandras did in the previous game. This Jaguars offense putting a hurting on the Chiefs' defense here early on. 22-yard gain on the kick return. Ready. First down. Big first down run there for the Chiefs. Man in motion. Bono brought down from behind Jerry Rocha with another sack.
Trying to figure out what the Chiefs are going to do here. They've got those, uh, some of those crazy routes in their playbook. And Thompson just cuts right upfield. 20 yard gain on the play. <laughs> Leroy Thompson. Leroy fought it. Five yard gain on the play there for Thompson. Chiefs. Kimball Anderson. Third down and one, however, for Kansas City on the 13 yard line of the Jaguars. Oh, Bailey, wide open. They had two or three guys just wide open there. Did not fill the holes where I needed to fill them. And Kansas City finally on the board. Kansas City, they're going for two. Kansas City, here I come. They're going to try to go for two, but we're going to try to stop them in this scrum. Bono back to pass. Bono. Ooh, Thompson did not get in. Just short of crossing that goal line. The ball has to break the plane, not the helmet. And Forrest Gump shaking off a couple of blocks there. 18-yard gain on the play. Uh, I might do it tomorrow night. Not going to have... Well, we are going to have a stream tomorrow night. But uh, we're not doing the Super Bowl prediction stream until next week. So tomorrow night I was thinking about maybe playing some NBA Jam. Maybe playing some Civilization Five. Not sure what I'm going to do quite yet. Third down and eight. <clears throat> I don't I still don't feel up to singing that many songs in a row though, so I don't want to screw my voice up. Fourth down and 20 ball on a 22 yard line fuck punt and we're going for it. We're going for it. Peanut butter play call. And Bavaro cannot come down with it. Ooh, Jaguars giving that ball over in good field position here. Bono stepping up. Bono, come on, defense. You guys are standing there when he's right in front of you. Marcus Allen? Still with the Chiefs in 95? Yeah, I think it would have been. Gonna go for the field goal. And the Chiefs pulling within four now. Forrest Gump on the kickoff return. Gump. Going to get 14 on that one. 
Four seconds left to play here in the second quarter. D. Reed with the pitch. D. Reed. Only going to get five yards on that to close out the first half. And the Jaguars holding on to 19 or 14 to 9. 56 yards on the ground, 119 through the air for Jacksonville. One sack and trailing in time of possession by about two minutes. 21 yards rushing for Kansas City, 132 through the air, 153 total yardage. The Chiefs with a sack of their own. Jaguars should get it back here. Elliott to kick off. Gump back to receive. I popped for it. What direction are we going to go? North, south, east, or west? Oh, Kansas City, Kansas City, here they come. And D. Reed losing a yard there. Chiefs defense getting kind of spicy here on us. Audible. Going downfield to Bavaro, and Bavaro still unable to bring it in. Jaguars kind of stalling out on offense a bit here. Last couple of drives. Oh, terrible, terrible performance. Fuck punting though, right? Right? Peanut butter play call. Mark Bavaro got it this time. Big first down gain, 41 yards. Let's see what condition our condition is in. Oh, my receiver is in bad condition. Bringing Eddie Pence back into the game. <laughs> Bringing Sir Ketchalot down and swapping. Ali Anderson up top in the key receiver slot. 12 yard gain for Eddie Pence on that play. D. Reed with the pitch. D. Reed into the end zone. Touchdown, BVNP. Give him another shout out. In case you didn't see it the first time. What up, D? to do that one again. <laughs> Makes it seem like he's uh, live real time right now. I like that clip. Hopefully that stays in a little bit longer. Oh boy. Extra point is up, and it is good, and we are kicking off here. Vaughn with a 21-yard gain. Don't know where Howard Nosell got off to again. He's disappeared on us. Maybe Dusty Rhodes caught him going back from the bathroom after halftime or something. Caught him in the parking lot. Rammed his hand into a car. 
Kind of like the Horseman did to Dusty back in 85. Six-yard loss on the play. Second down and 15 for the Chiefs. One-yard gain that time. Kansas City needs to do something to kind of close the gap in. They're now down 21-9 to here in the third quarter. About two minutes left in the third quarter. Steve Bono back to pass under pressure. Bono hits Dawson. Oh. And out comes the punt team. Watch for the fake. Forrest Gump back to receive. Gump gets nailed again after only four yards on the return. <clears throat> Ready, Gump up top. Nice little burst of speed there for Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump not going to get a kickoff return, but may get a big touchdown run. And off to Reed. Reed. Oh, another fumble. We thought we got rid of the fumbles for tonight. D. Reed. Coughing it up. Thankfully, able to catch it from behind. Terrible, terrible turnover. Probably give Kansas City the little burst of momentum they need going into this fourth quarter. Only down by two scores. Bono rolling out. Bono downfield. And Dawson into the end zone. Touchdown, Chiefs. Going for two points again. Oh, they're not going to get it that time, though. Forrest Gump back to receive. Time running out here in the third. Gump with an 11-yard return. 21-15 to now the score. Let's do the condition checks. Reed in bad condition. Bring Sloan in. <laughs> Doug Sloan picking up three yards on the carry. Second down and six now for the Jaguars. Sloan over the middle. Sloan. Four yard gain. Capone going downfield. Aliandris wide open. Makes the catch. First down, Jaguars.
Kansas City going to be crowding the line here, expecting the run. And Sloan fumbles. Another goddamn fumble by my running backs tonight. And the cheating ass Chiefs. Second down in three for Kansas City. Incomplete pass. Third down and three. Nice sack. Bricko. Bricko, of course. The other half of that third faction tandem. <laughs> Fain death, let's see Fain death. Yeah. <laughs> Rico, also a streamer here on Twitch. You know what happens when the world One hell of a nice guy. Give him a follow if you don't already. You Usually stream in a couple times a week with Miss Listra. Seriously, you hit yeah, so hard. I, I, I freaking learned it in Kara too, you know why? Rico of the Third Faction and Lions Pride Tavern podcast. Oh, Thompson. Making that clutch catch. 23-yard gain for Kansas City on that one. And Kansas City with a fumble. Jaguars recover. Leroy Thompson coughing it up that time. Sloan only getting a yard that time. I don't know like, if I can trust my running backs right now. Two of them have coughed it up tonight already. Sloan, another catch out of the backfield. Gets to the sideline. First down, Jaguars. 14-yard catch for Doug Sloan. Second down and 11. Sir catch a lot. Making his first catch in weeks. 15 yard gain for the first down. Sloan out of the backfield. Sloan brought down after a seven yard gain. Second down and two for the Jaguars. Eddie Pence wide open. Pence. First down. Jags moving the chains. Mr. Capone. Looks like you've won again, my friends. 21 to 15. Where the hell were you at, Howard Nocell? Well, I, uh, I had to see a man about a horse. Had to see a man about a horse. Okay. 
Well, I'll tell you this, Mr. No Cell. The next time I invite you on to the show here, and you just waltz off without letting me know where you are, you're fired. You can't fire me. I quit, motherfucker. Good. Don't like you anyways. Jaguars, 21 to 15. Big turnaround here for the running team. This game, 145 yards after barely getting 40 yards in the game against Cleveland. 252 yards through the air. 397 total offensive yards for Jacksonville. Two sacks, a fumble recovery, and about two-minute edge on time of possession. The Chiefs held the 16 yards rushing, 217 through the air for 233 total. They had one sack and two fumble recoveries. And the Jaguars win again. D. Reed, nine carries for 82 yards. Forrest Gump, a big 61-yard run. And then Capone and uh, Sloan filling in the holes there. We're going to take a look. Bavaro getting some improvement points. Colombo and Bricko both picking up improvement points on the defense. All right. We will go back, take a look at the standings here. Nine and one. Forgot to update them earlier. Nine and one going into week number 12. Of course, we had the bye week last week. And the Jaguars, 268 points scored against us. 360 in our favor. Finally starting to put a little bit of room there. Still, only one game down on the season. That was the overtime loss to Cleveland, who is 4-5. and five. Let's take a look at the other teams. New England 6-4 and four to lead the AFC East. San Diego 8 and 1 in the AFC West. Over in the NFC, Dallas 6 and 3 to lead the Eastern Division. Just a second. and three for the Bears and the Packers tied atop the Central and six and three and one for the 49ers in the NFC West the rankings offensively Jaguars number one overall not by much number six passing and number three rushing and defensively, I imagine we're probably down near the bottom. No, we're number 10 overall on defense. Number 8 against the pass. And 15 against the rush. We moved up. We moved up almost 15 spots from the last time we checked it. So we're tightening up that defense just a little bit. Mostly healthy. Still have a few players out. Al Bundy still injured. And 
And we've got Minnesota and Houston on the horizon. Gonna remind everybody, of course, you saw. <coughs> Excuse me. You saw Calicott prompt this a little bit earlier. We are still trying to raise money to help benefit the Love Alive charity founded by the one and only Elijah Burke, the Pope, if you're a wrestling fan. And they help people here in the greater Jacksonville area with items such as food, clothing, rent and utility assistance, and they depend on donations from people like you and me. No donation is considered too small. Even a dollar could go a long way to helping. I want to give a shout out here. Speaking of Calicott, we didn't get to call his jersey tonight. But Calicott has started streaming again. If you don't already follow him, Howard No Cell says you better follow this young man or else I'm going to send the American Dream Dusty Rhodes to your house to fart on you. Calicott's been streaming the last couple of nights. I caught him uh, tonight before my stream and then I think it was Sunday night. Reading along with the Fighting Fantasy series of novels. Some of his favorite books as a kid. And the chat is uh, helps him choose his own adventure. Choose what direction he's going. Choose when to fight. Or when to talk. Or when to run. If you like that sort of thing, please give Calicott a follow and tune in. Set those notifications to tune in when he is online. And because I never get a chance to raid this guy, ho, oh, we are going to do it tonight. I'll be back tomorrow, 8 p.m. No prediction stream tomorrow. I'll try to do the concert tomorrow night. <laughs> I don't know. Depends on how my voice is holding up. I've had problems the last few weeks. And uh, I, I just don't think I can do ten songs in a row. So we'll see how I feel. If not, we're going to be getting into some NBA Jam, maybe some Civilization. I'll make up my mind before I stream. Thank you guys for hanging out. I'll be back tomorrow night, 8. Thursday night, season 4 finale of Chat Picks the Plays. And we are going to send this raid over to Calvin Thomas Music. If you have never heard Calvin Thomas perform, you are in for a treat. This guy has the voice of an angel. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you when I see you.